Hi guys. If you are anything like me, you're currently having a lot of Zoom meetings, especially to communicate with your collaborators and your students. A very useful function of Zoom is the whiteboard shared screen. So I wanted to make sure to make this little tutorial just in case um, you haven't learned how to use that function yet because it has really made my life so much better. So let me show you how to access the whiteboard shared screen on um, your Zoom meetings. Once you start your Zoom meeting, if you go to the bottom of your screen and you will find this big green button, you click it and that will bring up this menu. From that menu, you can choose what you would like to share with others. On that menu, you will click whiteboard and then share. And that will take you to a screen that looks like this. It's important to notice that you can see all these controls on the top, but the rest of the meeting participants don't see them. They only see a white surface, a big white surface with some tools to write or annotate on the top. So you have more control than the rest of the meeting participants. Once you get to this screen, you're sharing your whiteboard with the rest of the meeting and you can do all kinds of things on that whiteboard using the tools that are provided. For example, you can write on the whiteboard surface using your computer mouse or your touchpad to move the little pen around. If you have a touch screen, you can use your finger or one of those soft tip screen pens to write on the board. The more you practice, the better you will get. As you can see, I haven't been practicing my benzene rings as much yet, but I swear that by the end of this crisis, I will be perfectly able to draw a benzene ring using my finger on my touch screen. You can also change the width of your pen or the color. You can use stamps, arrows, and simple shapes. The colors can be changed using the formatting menu, which is a drop-down menu that comes up when you click on this button. You can also change the line width there, and you can change the font that you will use for your text boxes. If you want to use stamps, there's a stamp menu where you will find check marks and question marks and hearts and stars, which can be very useful for quick communication um, with your students or collaborators. Others can collaborate using their annotation tools. If you want to clear anything from your virtual whiteboard, you can either use the eraser, which can be found at this button, or you can clear all drawings or selectively your drawings or the viewer drawings using the drop down clear menu. As you can see here, you can combine hand drawn things with text boxes, with stamps, and everything will be saved together in your whiteboard image. If you want to selectively erase part of this, you can use the eraser function. If you want to clear it all or clear the contributions from the other meeting attendees, you can use the clear viewers drawings function. The nicest thing about whiteboards is you can save them as image files. Zoom will save everything to a folder in your computer called Zoom, which is probably located in your documents. Look for the folder with the appropriate date. They are date um, stamped. So you can find the latest one will be the last one that you made. And you can open up that folder and you will find your whiteboard there if you click save whiteboard. Let me know if you have any questions and I would be glad to Zoom with you and maybe we can share virtual whiteboards. You guys have a great day and stay safe.